Welcome to Fallen Eagle, an overhaul modification for Crusader Kings 3. It's all about the Dark Ages and Rome's slow collapse. We're going to try this out today as a special feature. By the way, this video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. And if you don't own Crusader Kings 3, well, I do have good news for you. There's a huge strategy we can sell on Paradox's games, including Crusader Kings 3, which is on sale for 20% off. You can find a link to that right down below my video description. If you've seen my mini roleplay campaigns for CK3, you know this is by far one of my favorite games to play. With that said, let's dive into it. I think it's a really smart idea for mod developers to focus on other starting dates. If a bunch of starting dates are supported officially, some are going to be neglected over time just by the sheer fact that some people are going to prefer one or two dates over the rest. That has happened before, so I think it's a very good idea to just have modders really explore other topics. And so we've got ours here, 395. Now 395 was a very dramatic year. You would have Theodosius I who would die of a disease. Then the Roman Empire, as you can see here, would be divided into two with Constantinople led by Arcadius and the Western Roman Empire led by Honorus. Right over here. Have a look at that. That's our brother, 17 years old. We are 10 years old and I've chosen to support the Greens. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's have a look over here. You've got the Blues and the Greens when it comes to chariot racing. Even back in the Dark Ages, you've got sporting games and people dying because of them. So I could choose to support the Blues, but I'm going for the Greens right now. And it gives you a trait, which means people who like the Blues don't like you. But people who like the Greens, they like you more. Oh, I love that so much. That's really funny to me. But I feel like the Greens have a pretty good shot, and we'll see later on. Now, let's also have a look over here. We've got decisions. I could abandon Britannia. Oh, there are many tough choices to make then. I'm not going to do that, but I could. It depends on what happens. We might need to consolidate before we can actually expand again. But we shall see. Let's see. I can create a new province, but I need more fame. I have very little fame right now. If I do that, they shall be integrated. A new duchy for me. Let's have a look at where it's at. Well, I know the general area, but yeah, right over here. We need to own it first. There's Caledonia too, a new duchy again. Right up there, if we wanted to go past Hadrian's Wall, which we're not gonna do. And finally, I can unify Italy, the title Italy. Let's see beyond that. That's pretty much most of it from what I can tell. I can meet my peers too. Well, that's because I'm a child, but I'm not really stressed out, so I think I'm doing fine. When it comes to, let's see, my council, I've got one Vicarious. Okay. He kind of likes me. My short reign issue is causing an issue. Let's focus on training commanders right now. Do I need a new marshal? Probably. You know what? You're so good. I'll put you over there. 18. Now he's a Vicarious over here of Pannonia. 36 years old. And hopefully he'll like me more as we go along. Over here is a proconsul. Romulus. What a name. And let's see, he's got 22 Intrigue, he's very good. I just want him right now to disrupt schemes. That seems like a very smart idea. Then for my steward, 15 for stewardship, okay. I've got a tax collector. You're hired over here. Very good. That should largely handle most of my needs. I've got my patriarch, 50 years old. I need to get him to like me, so we are going to hopefully sway him once I'm 12. Evidently, I can't sway people until I'm 12. Well, that's good to know, because I absolutely cannot do that. Now, I did add in minor titles. We unfortunately do not have a dwarf. We can get a new master of horse. I'll have my mods linked down below if you want to check them out. And one more now. Another king. He's very angry with me, so let's watch out. All right, that should mostly take care of it. A new knight for more prestige. Yeah, do that for me. We've got to have a better court champion, right? 13. We do not have a lot of talented warriors right now. We have got to work on our warrior culture, I think. Okay, so we are missing one, but that's all right. Then beyond that, I do need a doctor. We'll try to find one right away. Let's see, abandon Britannia. I'm not gonna do that, not right now. I'm not here to convert, and I've got a new legacy to pick up. Why don't we pick up for now? Let's see, I could improve my warriors, but what about getting good dread? or worrying about my children. But then again, I am a child, so I'm gonna be a dreadful little child. 
Yeah, that's my plan here. I shall be dreadful. Now, I still do need someone to really work on my skills here. All right, you're okay. Do we have anyone better? I feel like I should have a better guardian, really. There's got to be someone better out there, right? Not really. There's my patriarch. Actually, he's not so bad. 15 learning and 13 for Marshall. Together, that's actually pretty good. So for whatever reason he knows about fighting, then I'll invite some knights on. Okay, Grandma, you won't be here for a long time, but you'll be here for a good time. 160. What about you? 10 learning. Very good at intrigue. A great way to die. I'll take care of for now. A master physician. I can send her to the capital to study to become a master physician. Well, maybe if she was a bit younger, but she's not. What about you? I could have you get married off to someone who's got some power. Alania. They could be decent. I've got a vassal over here. Now, he's got a lot of power, and I do not need him to hate me, so why not? Let's do that. We need to maintain his love and admiration. Hopefully, that will only improve as we go along. We should also have a look at what we own. Okay, so we're up here right now. That's where our capital is at. We've got a few lands. I might even change it up later, but for now, I cannot. I've got no special buildings. I can't build any duchy buildings. I wish I could. I've got farm estates. I'm actually making a lot of money, so I should be okay. I am going to build up probably walls and towers because we need some defenses locally. And over here, I'll take what? Hill farms, guilds. We'll take some guilds. How is my overall development? 12. 12 is okay. It could be much, much better. Some people need to, well, convert to my religion. Farms and fields later on, but that's what I have for now. So we can wait and see. When it comes to my military, I've got cataphracts. They've got 120 for damage, 35 for toughness. They're very good. More cataphracts again. They're not cheap, so hopefully that'll do it. But again, I've got to wonder if I should help out my brother. We've got a few people who have come to join me, 30 years old and quite good at fighting. Good, good. I'm getting more money again. That did not take long. I do want to help out, and over here we've got a small army. Well, I've got to go fight them, I think. Let's get my men together. It might take a few days. And also, I'm going to marry that young lady. She's 11. She is rather attractive and intelligent. So once she comes of age, and I do as well, we shall be married. All right, down we go again. Oh no. Oh, what a Roman event. Already I am possessed here. Lately I've been experiencing some episodes. Something comes over me taking charge of my body and leaves me tired and confused. Oh no, not a good start at all. I'm feeling fine, but I'm probably not going to live for a very long time. While we are over here, let's grab some local levies. We can hold down control. You're good now. Let's go attack. My commander, it's got to be you, I suppose. And so off we go now to fight for Rome properly. We've got the powers. We've got the experience. Oh, it's changed a bit. All right, fine. I'll bring in a few more soldiers. Don't worry about me. I'll bring on a few hundred more. All right, so far we are winning. That should do it, actually. I'm trying to keep it rather... Well, on the down low, I suppose. There's one Vicarious who's been wounded. I've got a physician. She's older, but she can get the job done. I think I played it a little bit too close to the chest over here. They do have pikemen. I've got my cataphracts, which are good, of course, but they've got pikemen. Come on down. We got them. Good job so far. Victory for our side. We did lose 282. Are you feeling better? You are. All right, they lost 940. We might as well help out. I could let him fall to them, but we need to remind people that, well, we are Rome. Have a look at that. My brother is holding on. Oh, well, then again, they do have that many soldiers, so I've got to watch out myself, because if I don't, I could easily lose it all. Let's have a look around. If we've got more enemies who are here to annoy us, we need to just watch out. Ah, look at the icons. Makes it quite clear what's going on on the map. Okay. So what we'll do as we wait over here... Ah, there's my allies. I see now. They're here to follow me, so we could move in together. I don't think we are ready to go fight him. 
Not yet. Things are not going his way. I need to be careful. I need to really think about what I want to do. And maybe I'll hire mercenaries too. So we'll see in time. My allies, they're just going to have to wait here. See, right now we're not actually losing. I'm not sure where his armies are at. Is he just waiting over here? Because if he is, that's great for me. And our many friends. Okay. Another location is under attack. My goal right now is to try to just watch out for what they have. They've got 11,000 men. He's a very good commander, so I am very, very worried about that. If I bring together all of my soldiers, then I have some help. Maybe we've got a chance, just maybe, but it's hard to say. So what I'll do, I'll come up over here. Now he's gonna easily take that area. I was wondering where he was at. I'm getting more money, that's a good thing. We're going to rally up more soldiers. I'm going to bring in some mercenaries too. His supplies are going down. It's a situation where I'm fighting just a power that goes beyond me at the moment. Okay, 345 gold. Now, what can we do with that? Well, I could go into debt. I don't want to go into debt, but I might have to if I want to fight them. Even then, it might not be sufficient. A new secret exposed. Well, put her into prison. You horny lady. I'm a kid, so I don't know what that means, but shame on you. Budding attraction. Huh. Person. Asexual. Why not? We'll choose something a bit different. I've not played a child as a roller in a long time, if I ever have. So again, I could let it go, but I'm still not going to do it. Only if wars get crazy over there, then I'll do it because we need to focus on other affairs. But if we can hold on to it, I'm not just going to say, hey, let it go. First sign of trouble. Look at all the men we have over here. I'm glad they're all spread out. That's a good thing. I'm just waiting on my money to go up. Okay, there's one army. They are attacking. We could go after them. So here's what we're going to do. Rally up the rest of my soldiers. There we go. Okay, I want everyone together now. That is a decent amount of men. I'm losing money currently. We have our commander. Let's go fight. My cataphracts should have a pretty good time here. It's planes. Everyone should have a pretty good time there. Come on now. Can we beat Alaric? What a terrifying proposition. I have no allies who are with me at the moment, so right now it is not looking good. Okay, they're coming in now, but here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna hire what I can. I'm losing money, so that's really bad. What could I take right now? You guys for three years. It's not a lot of men. I'll take you anyway. Let's go in. Let's just go, all of you. If we lose it, that's it for Rome, man. Okay, we actually beat them. We're actually beating them. My physician is like, yo, I'm really good at stitching up wounds now. I'm incredible. So we did just beat them. Incredible. I've got to lose a few of my soldiers because, well, if I don't, I'm going to go further into debt. And that's a bad thing. So off we go again. All of you go home. You'll come back later. Hopefully my allies will just help out. We are fighting together. We have won one major battle. If we get rid of his special soldiers, we're going to be okay. Yeah, look at that. There's not nearly as many now. He's still very good, but there's not nearly as many. Look at that battle. We lost 1,400. They lost 4,362. We're getting some county corruption. It'll last for some time. We've got a dangerous faction. The only member... Oh, right. They're back at home. Okay. Well, don't worry. We're going to be out of debt very soon, and I'll be much more careful. I just didn't know if he would be able to beat me or not, but thankfully it seems like we are doing fine. That one victory is all that we needed, so we're just going to save up money for the time being. Though I am generous, I've got the traits over here generous, more diplomacy, less income. I don't like greedy people. We've got fickle over here, more diplomacy, less stewardship. Ooh, so my stat line is just not great, so I've got to carefully watch over my child. I'm currently 14, Marshall only 7, 9 for diplomacy, and what's over here now? Temple of Juno. Celestis over here. Interesting. If I do that, we'll gain what? A lot of control. Okay, so we've got custom events. Okay, so many followers of our faith, including the Bishop of Carthage and Utica, have brought to my attention the elaborate temple of Celestis. It is the opinion of some that this heathen sanctuary in Carthage has stood for far too long. We could tear it down. Control would go up in one area by five. I would lose 100 gold, but gain 200 piety. I could convert it too. I love that. An entire region. And we get that cathedral as well. We've got to. For God. 
And so things are better now. Much better, I think. To me, it's just a really good idea. So it is done now, even though we are now back in debt and we will probably in time have a major rebellion, but we'll see. I've got one prisoner who died in my prison. Well, maybe don't go to horny gel and you'll be okay. Oh, you're actually pretty good. Gothic warrior. You know what? Come fight for me. Come do it. Okay. I know they're angry. And to be a classic Roman, we've got to have a major rebellion at least once a year. That's just really the rule. Okay, so I'm back over here at my capital. I'm going to raise up my mercenaries for one. I'm going to let them fight, I think. They should be sufficient to take on all who come for me anyway. Yep, got them. See? No, it was only a minor one. Oh, wait. That war is over too. Okay. I gotcha. Well, goodbye to you, King Alaric. He pays 304 gold to me for his damages. It began five years ago. Factions targeting him gains 25 discontent. Get destroyed. So Alaric did not do a good job. All right. I thought maybe we ended our little peasant rebellion, but not yet. There we go. Now, is he any good? He's a good commander. Just in case, I'm going to let him go. But you've got to be converted, and I've got to recruit you. Go home, mercenaries. There are some rebels who are winning over here. Wow. Okay, so everyone is having an issue when it comes to rebellions. Do you need help, by the way? Can I do anything for you? Are you the one fighting? Because, geez, man. That isn't good. Offer to join war. He's not my ally, but they're just peasants. That's all right. Okay. A grand sacrifice. Well, we need more prisoners. I'll have fun later and do that, but not yet. We just need a few more. So right now we're just holding on to what we have. And so far, it's been stable for the few years that we've been here, okay? It's been very stable. And I can also ally my brother. You know what? I'll do it. We are now allied. You might rule over that part of Rome, but I'll rule over here. Now, I do wonder, what could I do elsewhere to expand, to become a little bit more? A tributary. Interesting. Okay. But I would like to take your lands. He's got a little claim. That fellow does, I mean. Yeah, look at you. 375 for prestige. I've got to hold on until I can decrease that overall. That's way too much prestige to lose, so I'm not going to do that right now. And who owns Rome? Oh, well, I should know. Oh, have a look at Rome. It's quite large here. Quite developed. So you're married to my cousin right now. We are improving commanders. So far, he seems to be loyal to me. I think he is. Oh, here we go. It pops up the local trade nodes. I understand now. Okay, I was wondering what that was for. I didn't figure that out earlier on, but oh man. Again, look at the local rebellions. They are not going well for many people. But here we go. I'm actually a very well-trained military commander. Wonderful. Thank you, Maximus. I appreciate you, buddy. I'm a man now. I'm no longer bossy. Oh, I've got unyielding defender. That's really good. Okay. So, friendly fatal casualties goes down by 25%. I am lazy, arbitrary, and I'm trying to do what I can to be okay. Okay, let's come over here. I do want authority focus. We're here to focus on handling things. I mean, look at me. I do not look well. My future wife doesn't look well. You know what? We'll get married. I did lose some prestige, but again, she's got intelligent and another trait there. So... I like that. I think it's pretty good. Hopefully she won't die. If she does die, I'll be very sad. And also, I can gain back some of my prestige anyway. I've got plenty of money. My glory is widely known now, so we are doing better. All right, you know what? Don't let me know about that one, okay? Don't tempt me. I'm going to host a party. Not because I'm stressed, but because I just want people to get to know me. I came of age. And look at that. I'm now the head of Roman culture. So finally, let's have a look over here. We've got the classical age. Let's see, we've got a lot unlocked already over here, Roman Innovations. Not available until 550 AD, Cataphracts, and other changes too, but we're not quite there. Look at that. During the reign of Diocletian, many reforms were put into place, correct. Alright, so we're back over here again. I've got most of them, 
That's wild. Let's come over here and get some armored footmen. Now, my learning is not very good. And here's a gathering. Words of war. Many did show up, some did not. Okay, so we're talking about stuff here. Five years, I get plus two to my marshal. Oh. Interesting now. So, he had a bad reaction to the food. I'll help him out. I've got a little weak hook on him. And everyone is leaving, but they all like me a little bit more. What I can do then, I can also give him some money. Now, he's got a lot of power. I don't think he's going to bother me yet. I don't think so. I don't think he has plans. He's currently fighting wars. Oh, plus one. Wow, we did such a good job. All right, so we'll come over here to sway you. Okay. Now, when it comes to promoting my culture, we could do that back over here. We probably should. I mean, if I'm rolling here or close to it, we should probably change up the cultures a little bit. When it comes to what you're helping me with, my dear wife, I want a general buff. See, look, she gives me a general buff to many skills. I think that's a pretty good idea. So that's what we're going to do. I could expand quickly and I know how to, but I'm just kind of really enjoying the idea of what I'm doing right now. And I also just want to wait for one perk to be unlocked before I begin to fight a few areas or in a few areas rather. Now, there are factions that are beginning to rise up. I'm still going to support over here. As you can see, the greens. I wonder when those games are going to be held. I would love to be a part of that, really. Okay, can I actually call in? Hold on. Oh, no, look at that. That's going to be a bad, bad war. Oh, no. That's over in Britannia. Yeah. And then over here, a few more of them. That would be two major rebellions. We could let them go. That might be the call, my friends. Because they're about to rise up. Yeah, look at all of the Empire. It's just falling apart right now. That's amazing. Deserters. I'm not letting you go. Let's have a chat. I could kill them all. What's over here? I might get a perk. Yeah, go scrub your latrines. It's over now, so we've got more morale for five years, plus two to our advantage. Romulus died. Oh, dude. He died from internal injuries, but he was a blue supporter. Boo! Good, I'm glad you're dead. No, he was actually very good, so I'm very sad about him dying, but I'm gonna choose, let's see, you. You are a king. And so as a king, you will serve. And over here, another fellow, 21. Take that. Make me more domain taxes. Let's get people to like me more, okay? Donate to the poor. Do that. Again, no core dwarf. My life is in shambles now. And yeah, the rest of you are pretty much fine, I think. Anyway, back over here to decisions. I can't invite more people just yet. But as you can see, I've got to watch out here because we're about to have a major, major war. I'm saving up money intentionally. I've also got to spend a little bit of it here and there when I'm able to just to make some more money because right now we're not making a ton. I've got over here my capital. That's making some money. Hill Farms will take that. Castles are also quite good. Let's see. Another city holding. A town holding. More outposts. Not the richest area. But we're trying to do what we can. Another city holding. Farms and fields again. I'll take at least one of them. Three years to build that up. I'm currently 17 years old. My wife is okay with me, from what I can tell. Oh, there we go. She's pregnant. Good. For Rome. <laughs> I did it for Rome, everyone. All right. So you're fighting another war. They're fighting against your tyranny. Well, if they take over, I'll come visit again. So about that faction. Oh, yeah, they're so strong. I can't believe what they have over here. That is crazy. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be, if that's really it. So... Let's go now. I really don't have anyone to call, but let's bring up the boys. The boys are coming up. Okay. We've got plenty of soldiers now. Let's go get them. I could just divide up, and I am going to do that. Okay, so we've got two commanders. I'm leading one army. I'll come down over here and beat them. You'll move up over here. I think we're actually missing the main area that they're fighting in. Uh-oh. Hold on, let's have a look around real quick. There's one over there. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it's much worse down over here. Everyone is fighting right now. It's actually kind of crazy, so we're gonna have to go fight them too, which we can definitely do. I'm gonna sell on over after I beat this one army, okay? We'll keep it simple. Your force, well, they might actually lose it all. We'll see in time. An impasse. We can use both of your strategies. Don't worry about it. Come on, Romans. Let's win. Let's go do it now. Let's go do the thing, okay? We're gonna have a few areas that we lose control of, but we're gonna do our best to take over. My daughter and heir. A good Roman name, Gaia. I love it. Yeah, look at that. She's already got traits, and her head is too big for that headband. All right, big head. Let's go. Let's go get them real quick. Wait, they got him. Someone got him. Good job, buddy. Oh, you. You know what? Here's a gift. You did it. 100 gold. I've got to give him gold for that one. What a hero. He ended the entire war. I'm gonna watch over him, okay? Well, it depends on how many prisoners we have. We have none. Well, then I can't hold a grand sacrifice. Do we have anyone interesting over here, by the way? I'm really curious about that. We've got a giant. 20 intrigue. Very good, by the way. But I need warriors over here. Great warriors. And we have none right now. That's a shame. Okay. Well. Here we go. So here's what I was waiting for. Bellum Justum. A cheaper cost to conquering lands. And there's still a lot of instability. I mean, just everywhere. I'm going to join your party. I'm not going to be here forever, so I've got to join your party and have a good time. I'm not going to marry off my daughter. What's over here? We're talking to a fellow. Oh, he's claiming that my ideas on warfare are wrong. You know what? Have him killed. Yeah. Maybe you don't talk to me like that. What about you? You want to be my friend? Very well. We could be friends. I could use a ally around here. And so I feel better about that victory. I do. All right, so... My uncle was killed in battle. Really? Oh, dude, things are pretty brutal right now. All right, who wants to... Yeah, everyone wants to fight me. I'm Roman, okay? I'm Roman. It happens. We're just going to have to wait and see what we can do with it all. I'm swinging one fellow. He likes me a little bit. I'm trying to have him killed. No one wants to help me. That might be too hard to do then. Shoot. I'll have to build up my scheme. Now, we'll change it later. It's just a little dramatic thing. But you know what? Give him a gift. Why not? Tainted gold. Wait, no! My daughter got it! No! <laughs> what is my life? I'm not a very lucky Roman Emperor. Well, that means I'm just a good Roman Emperor at that point. Again, I wish I could build one of these right now, but we need other innovations that we do not yet have. Alright. What else now? Oh, okay, right. Your marriage. She's feeble. Be gone, feeble lady. A good fighter. Oh, yeah. Only 30. Yeah, take him. All right. Chariot games. They're doing okay. Right, right, right. Come back over here. I could go on a pilgrimage to go, well, join God, but not forever. Let's go do that. Why not? I'm going to go to Constantinople to go see my brother. It is time to depart, I say. So I've not conquered anything. The Tears of St. Nicholas. Even when on pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. It is held out in the open when no church is nearby. Okay. I could become ill. No, what's a bit of rain? I'll be okay. I might not be okay. I'm feeling a little bit better thanks to my old doctor. She's currently 64. Another good commander. Okay, I'll take you. I'll take anyone who's decent at anything, really, with what I have here. All right, so we'll take some quarries. I'm going to invest my money back into my lands right now. It's what I do. That's what I try to do. More farms and fields. I want them everywhere. A rude story. Ah, Vicarious, you're now married to my half-sister. Look at that. I'm going to sway him. He's lost a leg already. And what now? A rude story. You know what? Get me my whip. I've had a pretty rough journey. Get me my whip, okay? And I'm back now. So I'm a pilgrim. And I get seat of bishops too. Nice. I'm feeling fine. For the most part. A low chance to have him killed, unfortunately. I'm not ready. I wish I was. We need a lot more if we want to do that. I'm known for my dedication to my faith. And it is good to be home. So we are getting more people to come join me, which is quite nice. My money is slowly going up. Alright, fine. You know what? 
I realized I can't just have him killed. I can't believe it. No one's gonna join me. That's okay, though. You know what? That's okay. Alright, is anyone else around here trying to cause me dramatic issues at all? Because I have no idea, but I don't like it. Do we have anyone else over here that could join me right now? That would be a great help. I think not. No, unfortunately not. So, Alaric, is he alive? Is he still... Yeah, he's still around. He's still the king over here. I can't just go fight him. I wish I could, but he's serving my brother, who's also holding on and also gaining just as much power as I am. I could potentially try to take from him, but he's my ally, so I can't do that. We've got tribute. Oh, really? Tribute? A permanent one. Oh. Interesting. I'm not going to offer tribute. But now I know I've got another option for that. Claim his title. I wish I could. Do it twice, I mean. I've already got it, but I want it again. Yeah, I'm being a little bit crazier just because I am an emperor of Rome during this time period. Okay, let's have a look around. Do we want anything? What's like a good classic photo to go fight? The Sassanids are doing fine. They're holding on. They've got plenty of power. I could try to conquer beyond the wall. I mean, they're already pushing out there. I could also join in. Yeah. A holy war would be pretty crazy. It could be a tributary. That's another option. Picklin is right up here. They're winning a war. I could fight a war for a duchy up there. You know what? Let's go do it. Let's have some fun. I've got a bone to pick with them. <coughs> oh god. Horrible joke. Okay. Let's get everyone over here. I'm feeling better. See? Attacking picks makes everyone feel better. Okay. All right. Let's go get them. Let's quickly go get them. We can fight whoever, right? My dynasty is known far and wide. I would think so. I would think so, yeah. I get 4.3 for renown. I get a lot of everything, really. You just don't have a very good leader in the very start, but you do get a lot. All right, hold on. Let's come over here. We'll take over a camp dispute. I'll deliver a speech. I'll join in. No, I can't do that. What a mess. I tried. I tried my best. It just wasn't enough. A green victory. Yes! Oh, Team Green, go! All right, after an intense race, the green came out victorious. A shameful day for the blue supporters. Yeah, you're blue because you suck because you're a dead fish. Get out of here, nerd. All right, 100 prestige for me. Look, you've got to get into it. You might not understand doing the whole chariot thing, but it's a way of life, baby. My kid was born green. Team blue, get out. All right, anyway, let's just take over stuff over here before I lose my mind. Mercy for mercenaries. If I do that, they'll be cheaper to hire. Be gone! Do not bother my people. Alright. You're just a shagger. Quit shagging. Shagger? Quit shagging, please. A new... Oh, interesting. Why not grab over here? Let's see. Noble Veins is a classic. It's kind of hard to not take that. I'll probably pick up a mod in the future to change them up just to have some more variety because like some of them just always feel better. A rowdy child. Okay, who's going to educate you? It could be my old teacher if he's still alive. Let's find someone good for you. Come on, kiddo. Actually, I'm not bad. Okay, I'll educate you, kid. Dear old dad. Don't mind my, uh, moods. Let's come over here and beat them. Oh, can't just do that? Okay, well, can I... Mm. Running low of supplies. Tough one today. All right. Let's try to quickly go over here and just take over. I've got to come back somewhere and get some more supplies if I can. I'm trying to. Crap. Okay, we can't do that right now. It's just way too much. Let's come back real quick. That's really the other issue, of course. I mean, obviously, logistics would be a massive problem, so we're going to have to just wait it out for now. We're too close together. We'll have to divide up. I could disband and come back. I think I'll do that. I'll fight them again. It's going to be a very long war, and I know that. We'll just come back, okay? We'll do that. Organize march. I do want more supplies, so we'll come down over here instead. I'll do that. Could I call in anyone? Oh my god, I could call in my brother. Let's do that. Holy crap, dude. If he comes way out over here, that would be great. Hello, small child. 10 gold. I don't really need 10 gold. 50 gold for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be gone. Right, the bastards. I'm not trying to be mean. That's what they are. They're bastards. 
All right. So now, if my brother would come over here, that would be one, hilarious, two, stupendous. Let's get everything together now. I've got my little soldiers together. I just want them to come over here and help me out. A new perk again. I'll take living off the land. See, that's what I wanted. And you know why, because I want more supplies. It's how I'm meant to get after them. But look at that! He's come up here to help me out. Oh my god, can you imagine the Eastern Roman Empire coming over here to Picklin? How strange that would be. They're all just moving in now. Oh crap. They were meant to come help me out, but they chose not to. Okay, that's fine. I moved a little bit too quickly. I don't always do that, but I did it today. Are they leaving me? Wait, what are they? Guys! Usually they do a pretty good job of coming to help me out. Today they were like, eh, I don't really feel like it. All right, fine. I'll wait and see. I was all excited too. That's fine though. I'll bring in some levees now and we'll just like go in there and leave and come back and all that stuff. I've got the levees, okay? Let's go back in. Or what I could do, I could just like divide up. Yeah, let's do that instead. We'll just like gather up a whole bunch of supplies. Where I can though, it's kind of difficult. I've got to move a little bit further. We're already beyond the wall. I just wanted to really go beyond it. If we take over up there, it's going to be tough. But man, quickly I've learned how difficult it was to conquer up there. I totally get it, man. No, I, I got it before. I just, I get it more now. What'd you do? Excommunicated. Oh yeah, definitely. Prison you go. Justice again. We've got a raider, but thankfully someone went after them. So let's hold on now. Yeah, so there's like little trade nodes for trade power. Two over there, three over in Rome, three over in Tunis, two over in Byzantium, two over here, two there. All right. How are my supplies doing? 100 for you. I just need one person to have the 300. That's right over here. Let them raid. They can do it. It's a long war, but it's okay. I'm coming for them. All right. Yeah, let my daughter go play for a bit. I'm going to now move up. A new secret exposed. Oh my god. That man. He's like, yeah, but what if I... <laughs> sure, buddy. Oh, I'm going to get served the crown because of dread. Dread and control. I'm currently 25. Pretty good age, right? Pretty good age for killing my foes. All right, so we've got plenty of supplies for the most part. Could be better. We'll take over some lands. We'll move back. They're actually avoiding me intentionally, which is really cool. They've got light footmen, Pictish warbands, and all of that. So they're doing the right thing when fighting an entire empire. Sure, if you want to do something to help out the empire, go do it now. That gave me 15 gold. But if we could just weaken them a little bit more, that would be great. If they want to come down here and say hello, they can do that too. I normally wouldn't invade, but I am playing in a much more goofy way than usual. That's intentional because I thought it would be fun just to try things out. If it was a serious campaign, I would have taken over the Eastern Roman Empire by now. Here's the military engineer. I like that. We've got Forder. That's also really good. We could cross water without issues. Supply duration up. I like that too. Let's get military engineer. That feels important. I'll take command. Okay, so we have another area. My brother is over here. We're at 80 supplies. I'm very worried about running out. But here we go again. Oh yeah, they're right by us. They've been waiting. Have a look at that. Well supplied too. Oh. You smart, smart picks. We're losing some men. They've got more soldiers who are coming by to say hello. Let's come down again. We've got to, unfortunately. I'll come down over here and just divide up. If my brother's armies want to fight, they can do that. And what I could do as well, my wife is pregnant again, I could find a good ally and call them in. Anything I can do to distract, that's a good thing, I think. All right, would you come join me or can you not? Let's have a look now. Well, I can't because he's a vassal. I did add in a mod where people can call in vassals in defensive wars. So it's also making it much tougher for me to conquer because of that. I did that intentionally to provide a big challenge. Yeah, see right down over here? Vassals to arms. But that's what we have here. All right. It's all about trying to experiment a little bit. Let's divide up what we can. I was hoping that we could ally. I knew that he was a vassal, but I thought maybe, just maybe, we could be buddies. You know, 
Just real pals. Nope, can't do it. All right. So we're back to getting supplies. They're still attacking. There's my brother's armies. They are being weakened by that. The young mediator. She's calm. Good. I could hire mercenaries. What I could do also, that I want to do, I want more onagers for one. They've got over there some soldiers I want to beat up on. So I'm going to get some bowmen too. I'll have to get more army, you know, types of focuses later on. Once I earn more money, they're fighting again. Oh. They are not winning. And there's a big rebellion. Let's find out where that's at right now. Is it like a really bad one? It's a very small one from what I can tell. Okay. That isn't too bad, but I've got to go over there anyway just to kind of help out. Let's kind of get ready if we can with anything that we have, really. Is that all that I have? My son and heir. Oh, great. Name him after me. Yeah. No traits? Oh, no. He's just like his dad. Horrible. Okay, organized march for more speed. Oh, yeah. Could come over here, too. You know what? We'll get more prowess and all that. Lower risk of being killed in battle. All right, so we've got to actually call in some mercenaries. I didn't want to, but I've got to. I'll go into debt if I do that, unless I call in these guys. I'll have to disband a few soldiers after that, but let's see if they can win. I think they... No, they can't win, actually. I thought they would be better, but they're definitely not. Go fight them anyway. No, you've got it. Okay, good job, buddy. I'll come down over here and go beat that little army. Thankfully, it's not like a major rebellion, just annoying tiny ones. All right, that's over. We've been dragging up this war for eight years now. I'll bring them over later. My light footmen and mercenaries, I'm losing some money, so I'm going to have to hurry up. But yeah, look at that. No wonder they've got so many extra men, but that's going to weaken everyone. I can endure the losses here more than they can. Okay. Okay, low in money right now. And again, if you've seen my campaigns, you know that I play in a very measured and careful way. I always do. But today we're just going in. I wanted to play a bit more like a poor Roman emperor, if possible. <laughs> and I think I'm doing that. Attacking the picks over here? I wouldn't normally do that. Are you mad? But I'm doing it here. Yeah, we're all combined because I don't like people being able to kind of outpace other armies. I think it's a very bad idea to do that. A new scheme? Well, that's fine. Have her killed. Who died? All right. Good job. One dead guy. The Battle of Calendar. Ah, what time is that? Or what date is that battle? I might have forgotten. They're killing a lot of them. Good job. Oh, we got them here. We're doing it. Oh, that's wonderful. My glory is widely known. See, have a look at that. They lost 1,600. Their commander, he's in trouble. He's a picked. All right. My cataphracts, over 700 kills. Whoa! That's mean. The Mistius? Uh, more like the Pistius. He was really mad. Oh my god. He came in and said, What'd you say about Rome? You punk. All right, buddy. Calm down. Damn. He just killed everyone. You know what? Have a wife. He's like, why are you punishing me? Hey, come on. Easy joke. Come over here. Let's go after that other army. I'll have some help. I'm not too worried about things being a bother for me. Let's see. Unless we have someone who can help out. Eh, you're all fine. Let's go in. Kill them. I want to win my major war fighting the picks. We nearly have it. We have it now. I have you now. Okay. They're bringing in some friends. There's like a point where you just have to go in. You don't have a choice. It's like, okay, I've got to kind of gamble it. Let's do it. We beat them again. So that's going to keep them so very busy now. Where we can hopefully just conquer a few different areas as we go in. They're trying to rebuild. Oh, got another army right over here. They're gone too. I think we finally broke them. Independence War. Who? Alaric again? Alaric. You old Scooby-Doo villain, you. Hold on. We'll get him later. I need to finish up my war over here. He's going to have to leave soon. Uh-oh. Let's hurry. Uh-oh. Again. That was a... Uh, Times two, uh-oh. That's when you know it's bad. All right. The Battle of Scone. <gasps> They're trying to keep their scones from me. I refuse. Young man, come join me. I'm out of money. We need to win now. Hurry up. Okay. In a weird way, it's good that so many people died. I can now get out of here. Conquer a few areas. 
We're about to win it. We finally did it. Oh my god. Yes, we did it. Oh, okay. All right. 10 years of fighting. I have... Oh my god. Have I ever fought a war that long? I don't know. But we did it. And yeah, calling in vassals defensively, I'm sure that helps a lot too. Because I don't think normally he would have been able to do that. Yeah, based on what he has over here. 1,700 men over here, 800 men. So do keep in mind that my vassals mod increased that difficulty exponentially. I could change it to where you can call it in as attackers, but I turned that off because I thought it would be too easy. From what I understand, I turned it off. But we've done it. Now, Alaric. Alaric. All right, we'll go get him in a bit. I've got to save up some money, keep the peace. Also, I do want to check out my council. You're reassigned. A new spy master, sure. Bishop? <laughs> I could just picture him saying, do it. Do it now. Okay, Bishop. Pray now. Okay, all right, fine. Do it. All right. You're hired. Go help out. Get people to like me more. And you are hired. Thank you, young lady. All right. I'm currently how old? 29 years old. And I got my idiot son right over here. Look at him. Not one trait. Not one trait. All right, so we've got to take out Alaric now, but we did it. So that means that in future wars, it'll be a lot easier to go after them. We do have a good base of operations. I just need to give someone land over here who I can trust. They're going to have a hell of a time, but hopefully they'll be okay. Then later we can just conquer what's in between. See, that would have been the easier choice, but I was like, yeah, let's just do it the hard way. Now my brother, I have weakened. I could just let him suffer more. Independence war. Yeah, he wants to be independent. And I'll think about helping him. We'll see. Oh my god. What's over here? Interesting. I could lose my trait? I'll talk to my doctor. She's incredible. 75 and still alive. She knows what's up. Oh, <gasps> no way. It happened. Hortensia told me to get plenty of rest and to avoid shiny objects, loud noises, and extreme weather. Works every time. I'm healed. Praise be. All right. So I'm going to let my money go up for a bit. The Empire, again, is doing quite well. The Eastern, well, they're holding on. We've got a lot more power. And I've got to find that new leader. Who's it going to be? I've got to find someone who's not a ruler right now. Not my wife. I do like my wife, though. My wife. A genius. Hello, hello. But I can't do that. She's married. Unless I, you know, got rid of a guy. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's find someone who's able to lead today. Someone decent. Is it you? A giant? I'll grant you some lands, buddy. Good luck. Don't lose, okay? You do it, I'll hate you. Forever. Nah, he should be fine. He's my vassal now. A new perk again. Chivalric dominance, we do need that. That would have helped. Well, maybe. So... We're holding on now. It's actually interesting to just kind of do so well. Lazy. I don't want you to be lazy. You could be arbitrary like dear old dad. I can be arbitrary. More dread. Yeah, take that. I'll get a bit of stress. All right, so he's over here fighting. His army isn't too big. No, we could definitely help out. But again, do I want that? It really depends if I just want to take over what my brother has. But no, no, no. We're going to be proper Romans and we'll go help out. I've got some mercenaries. I've got some friends. I've got money again, and I've got new soldiers too. How about that? All right, so I've got cataphracts, but what about light footmen? I'll take those. They're cheap, they can be handy. Boom, okay. Raise up, do not extend. That's a lot of money that I do not have currently. Let's go. All right, that should be sufficient. Let's all move together. Right over here. My poor brother. He's like, I fought in your wars for years, which is why I'm gonna help you out. Excuse me? A blue vi- Oh no. No. Gonna have to kill a few people now. I wanted to go over land, but that's all good. We can easily earn that money back once we end the war quickly. My brother's not really going after the target he should be going after anyway. So we did disembark. We need to move, definitely. My brother-in-law died. Really? Holy crap. My sister. She had many, many children. Alright, come over here. Let's go beat their major army. 
my boy's rowdy sounds about right let's give him the martial traits and i shall educate him properly but yeah once we do a real campaign for fallen eagle in the future it is going to be a cinematic role play themed one but i always wait for mods to be fairly complete i know people want to see things now but i just believe it's a much better idea if you really want things to you know be interesting and good you don't want to have issues cropping up that ruins the whole campaign or whatever else. So, and I can be pretty patient. Wow, my best friend died. That was quick. We're 31. We're basically halfway dead now. Oh no, it's back again. I flee to my chambers before I begin to cry. What a problem to have. Oh no. Inspired moderation. She's temperate. Well, good. That's my daughter. My wife is pregnant. She's not feeling well, which is worrisome for me. All right, let's go beat them. They got it. It's over. I came out here for nothing. A new son, Matthew. Ah, he's quick. And also a monk, Matthew Theodosian. Okay. Well, we have peace for now, everyone. I hope that was a fun preview for many of you. Thank you for watching. And until then, I hope all of you have a great day and or evening. Oh yeah, and Ave, or if you prefer, Awe.